Good morning. I am the Orange Jedi, and welcome to Hollow Knight. This is going to be episode one of my playthrough. Um, this is not the first time that I've played Hollow Knight. I just really love this game, and I uh, want to share it with you guys. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Monomon the Teacher. Oh man, that music is so cool. Alright. Um, so for the most part, I'm going to stay quiet during cutscenes. Um, I'm not the greatest at this game. Pretty average, I think. <laughs> so this is going to be a, you know, a casual playthrough for you guys. Um, I just... Really, though, I just want to share this game because of how fantastic of a game it is. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream. I'm not worried about money at this time. There's really no concern. There's only a few points in this game where you really need to be worried about money, and one of them is towards the beginning, but um, I'm going to get something later that will help me out with that. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. It's so interesting how they give you some lore tablets at the beginning and then pretty much got to figure the rest out on your own. <laughs> Fury of the Fallen. Um, if you guys are new to Hollow Knight, um, the game, um, kind of like to upgrade your character, they give you charms that you can um, attach to yourself, and they give you small boosts. Uh, that's the first one that you can find in the game, Fury of the Fallen. What it does is when you're down to one health, um, then it increases the damage of your needle. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. 
step across this threshold, and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hollow Nest. So my plan here is that each episode is going to move um, until the next boss, unless unless that's too short, but that way um, every playthrough can have a boss in it. Dirtmouth, the fading town. Hi. Elderbug. Ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, the darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures can turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hollow Nest, it was once called, supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? The bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. Alright, we're gonna equip our one charm. Um, when close to death, the bear's strength will increase. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it increases. It might be double damage um, I'm not sure for all your mapping supplies we will be opening soon Zelda and Cornifer we'll meet them later here's the well here we go all right forgotten crossroads Hello there! How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie deep below us. For so long I felt drawn here, so many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth trembles. The air is thick. I wonder what have come. What could have brought it all about? To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though, that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tool. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place, and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. 
Hi, Coral. Nice to meet you. They look so sad. If I'm getting myself lost, no need to worry. Ah! <laughs> I messed up. Leave me alone, I messed up. I'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> ah, I'm getting greedy. It has been a while since I've played, so I'm gonna have to relearn basic mechanics again. Hi! See ya. Uh, so those are the grubs. Um, grubs pretty much act as the collectible items in this game, other than charms. And um, after you get a certain amount of them, then you're given some small rewards. Stuff like that. I don't think there's anything more for me here. At this point, I'm going to want to backtrack now that I've got that grub. Don't worry. I'm going to be showing you guys everything. But we want to come back here later. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes here. As you find grubs, these holes will fill, and the grub father up there will give you more stuff. It's not always money, but to start out, it's money, which is the um, number underneath my health in the top left. Geo. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Cornifer. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not a head for direction, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Azelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why? When I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway... I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe mm -hmm. and farewell. How are you finding my map? I've tried to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies from my wife up in Dirtmouth. We've set up a little store to help make ends meet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> His humming tune is so peaceful. I thought I could beat it. game isn't very forgiving, but it's so... it's such a beautiful game. <laughs> I missed my jump. What am I doing? <laughs> Simplest of Ooh, secrets. Nice little sauna to refill up your soul gauge. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stag ways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stag ways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. It was a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I, and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop on that platform and give me the signal. 
Well, we don't need to travel away just yet. Ah! They always seem to get me, the jumpy boys. Let's just sneak past so we don't wake her. Um, can can I? Excuse me, you're you're in my way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but you're in my way. Ow! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> First boss down. I'll be going now. Uh-oh. No, stay back. Ow. There we go. Can't go up there yet. I'll be able to later. Is the wonderful thing that is a Metroidvania. Hi. Ugh, Oro, and you oof. You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever awoken. I'm Sly. Usually, I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. You're exploring, then. Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield this. I'm gonna need to know how to wield it, the way this game is. Ow. Uh, only five health is not a lot to work with. Okay. We can go up. I don't even want to fight you, just get out of my way. A door with an open slot. This is cool. We'll be back. Ah, I can't make the jump. <laughs> no. Always a bigger fish. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Oh. Haha! <laughs> Yay! See ya. If we go down here, we're back at this is the stag station that we were at earlier. So now we go up from here.
Gotcha. You're welcome. Grubs are probably my favorite part about this game. No, that's not true. The music is my favorite part. The music in this game is just absolutely incredible. Alright. Ow! Some bugs are just so rude. Now, we don't need to fight this guy. But there is a way to kind of cheese it. You get him over here. He actually can't touch you. He doesn't fit. So, let me show that off. If he follows me over here, he can't, he can't. Uh oh, wait, hold on, wait. I might have made a mistake. Aha! 45 is a, is a lot of geo though, so it's worth it. Hi guys. Here we go. False night. Ah! <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oops. Okay. One hit per wave, not bad. It's so funny, this little guy fit in this giant armor. Here's a little Easter egg. If we just kind of move over here and come back. Who are you? Just a cute thing. Money! Oh, it's scurried off. Oh well. Saying, you know, we haven't gotten any more. What are they called? Charms. We haven't gotten any more charms yet. Oh ho! Who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse. 
but I won't ask the what. Perhaps the reason you've found me is because you need my help. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Ho ho ho. Don't be afraid. Have faith. That spell belongs to you now. All you need to do is take it. Oh, <laughs> you won't be going much further without it, I promise you. Vengeful spirit. Hey. Oh, you've awoken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but I seem to have slipped away myself. Oh, now we're awake. <laughs> I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're friends now. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be grateful, I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. <laughs> What is it? Are you wondering about this gate between us? <laughs> it's a curious thing, but this door will not open until you have slain the creature lying in the heart of this temple. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the spirits of my ancestors will be watching over you. I can't believe you've done this. I trusted you. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wreck the place. I'm gonna take down all of these little poles you got here. All of them. <laughs> okay, not all of them. I can't be asked. think there's anything up there. Oh, it's just, it's just Geo. I'll be fine. Oh. Soul Catcher. Hello? Oh, ho! So it's done then. You've slain the beast, the poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude, of course. We both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh, ho, ho! And look, the gate between us has opened. <laughs> I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. <laughs> you cheeky. Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Though I do admire your persistence. <laughs> Does it fit? It doesn't fit. A soul catcher. Increase the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. 
Yeah, I'd rather have Fury of the Fallen in case I get in a dangerous situation. This might be able to save me. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go back out and go back up to Dirtmouth. There's some gear I want to get before we go. But I actually want to get there from the stag station. Hey, bud. This place. We are near the surface, I believe. There is a town here. You should take the opportunity to rest. This place was once full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. Here we are. Uh, first things first, need some map stuff. Hello! Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop up back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Ah, <sighs> nada. Okay, definitely need the quill, for sure. Let's see... Hmm. I should get Wayward Compass. I'm gonna hold off on Wayward Compass, though. So, the quill is amazing. It's not amazing, but it's quite necessary, because... You can see my map right now is pretty pathetic. You sit down, it updates all the maps including Forgotten Crossroads. Everything that I've been through is now upgraded. Well, not upgraded, updated. Everything that I went through is now updated. Hmm. Okay, now does Sly have something for me? Hi, Sly. Hmm. Hmm. So it's very important to get the Luma Fly Lantern. There are certain areas in the game that are really dark and you can't see anything. So the only way you can get through them is by having this lantern. It's essentially like a flashlight. I'm actually going to get Gathering Swarm now. And equip it. Oops. <laughs> and then, um. That way, this will allow me to get all of the early game geo that I need to help me get set up for mid game. And then, after you get to mid game, you really don't need to worry about you anymore. But I want to make sure that I get that Loom Fly <gasps> Lantern. Now, what's more important, Stagway Pin or Bench Pin? I'm gonna get the bench pin, because every stagway has a bench. And then uh, I'll just remember which benches are stagways until I get the stagway pin. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I'll see you next time. Good night.